A well-established and award-winning painter, but Paul Dyson is a wildlife artist with a twist. With close ties with many of the zoos and wildlife parks in the Midlands, Paul is actually able to enter many of the enclosures of the animals before he paints them in order to get a better idea of what he's about to create. To be honest, I'll make any excuse to do it, but it does help when you can feel the different textures of fur or hair, whichever particular animal it is. I literally have handled everything from tigers to snow leopards. And it doesn't stop there. Paul has travelled as far as the Himalayas for his work in search of rare breeds of big cat. But danger is often closer to home as Paul explains one incident with a captive snow leopard. It hit me very quickly twice in the face and its claws are so sharp, they're like razors, so I ended up coming out with blood coming from my nose and my lip and I had to gingerly put this endangered species down onto the floor by which time it had clamped onto my knee. Despite the dangers, however, Paul's work has been very successful and his wife of 13 years is very supportive of him. I'm totally behind him all the way. In fact, I'm quite envious sometimes because I really would like to be with him. And Jenny appreciates the effect that Paul has had on her own life. Having met Paul, it's, um, it's opened up a new world to me um, and I've had some great experiences. And uh, I think without having met him, my life would be completely different. And Paul's passion is tireless as he has already planned to visit Uganda in search of mountain gorillas next year. And beyond that, the future holds no limits for this artist. This is Dan Poulter for CBJ News.